Welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to take a look at some of the most common issues, some of the most common things that you can see on your PC that will actually indicate that you might be infected with a malware or virus. This is a question that's been asked a few times so I've gathered what is the most often the problem in such a uh, infection. So how do you know if your PC is infected with malware? Usually there are signs. As a tech guy, pretty much every time I've went to a client that had a infection, I could see it almost immediately by weird behaviors. First, computer is extremely slow suddenly. So your you know, computer is working fine, you're doing everything, and suddenly how it happens your computer's slow or somebody else uses your computer and it's suddenly slow you're wondering why one of the um, signs of a virus or malware infection could be a slowdown on your PC it happens very often it's not always the case I'd say maybe one in two PCs infected as a big slowdown uh, and of course uh, don't take that a slowdown in your PC is the only sign because many other things can have or create slowdowns on your PC. But that's one thing that maybe you should scan your computer with, you know, malware bytes or antivirus and check out if something's wrong. You have pop ups that you didn't have before that suddenly appear on your computer, and even when you use an ad block, they're still there. That is one of the biggest signs of malware that, of course, is trying to pop up all sorts of ads on your PC. And if you use an ad block and there's still pop-ups, this is probably an almost sure thing that you are infected because pop-ups from malware are not popping from your browser. They're actually individual windows that will start up, uh, but usually they're going to wait for your browser to be open so that you have the impression that it comes from the website that you are visiting. So too many pop-ups or frequent pop-ups is another sure sign that you might be infected. You might also have blue screens that suddenly appear when you never had problems before. So you're using your computer, of course, blue screens or blue screens of death that we call with error codes are you know, can happen from many other things, but often bad code from malware or viruses often crashes the PC. So this is another thing that you might want to check if you have frequent crashes and you didn't have any before. Disabled antivirus. You look at your antivirus and it doesn't start up anymore. It seems that you have to, you know, start it up manually or it seems broken. That is also a uh, very often a, a sign of uh, virus or malware infection because it doesn't want to get detected. So the way that it doesn't get detected is by breaking your antivirus, basically. So if you see that your antivirus suddenly doesn't start up anymore, maybe you need to uh, have your computer checked or check it out with some software. A lot of different little toolbars or a new toolbar that you've never asked for is suddenly on your browser. That's another sign. This is more of malware than anything else, but it is frequent that bad software wants to install toolbars. So this is another sign that your computer might be infected with something. What else do we have? Your main page has suddenly changed to some awkward, bizarre page. You were maybe on Google or you had MSN or you had some of your favorite web page as a start page, but then your browser displays something different. So what could be doing that? Of course, once again, malware and viruses might want you to uh, basically change suddenly uh, a uh, you know start page to something else. Sometimes the start page doesn't change, but you might get a pop-up from your browser saying, hey, uh, something, something is trying to uh, change your start page. Do you want to do it? So that is another sign that maybe something's wrong with viruses. And another interesting sign that is often the case, weird startup items. If you're in Windows 7 or in Windows uh, 8, you can actually use the um, 
if you're on Windows 7, you can use MS Config, which is the Microsoft configuration. And was <coughs> Windows 8 and Windows 10, you can use the Task Manager and see the Startup tab. And look at all the weird things that are in this list. If you're not sure what it is, you can always Google it. Uh, very often when you right click, you can actually click Search Online. There's an option to search online of what is the different things here. So look at what's in here and if you see something unusual or maybe you see a new icon in your taskbar here or in the uh, different processes, that could be another sign of infection. So these are some of the most common things that might actually you know, make you scan your PC with different software. And uh, as we're talking about, you know, signs of infections, we'll also have a video today of some of the tools to use to help you uh, fix an infected PC. So uh, these are the most common. There are others. There are different things that you can actually look at. But these are probably the, the, the sh most easy, uh, easiest sign, basically, of infection that most people can actually check out and understand. So if you have any of what I've just um, talked about, well, why not scan your PC with either your antivirus or use some of the tools that I'm going to show you in the next video. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. If you have any um, questions or maybe you know you have something that you want to add to this as uh, a, uh, um, a sign of an infected PC, why not to add your own little comments below. And thank you so much for watching.